everyone, it's Rachel and today it's time for another Movie Monday. So uh, over the weekend I watched Luca, finally, um, with Zach and um, I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on it as we do for Movie Monday. And um, yes, yeah, so the movie was very cute. Um, I was pleasantly surprised that I only teared up a couple times, never actually cried. And Pixar is really good. Disney and Pixar are really good at getting me to actually cry. It's animated movies that get me every time. Um, so this, I didn't actually ever fully cry because anytime I felt like I was going to, there'd be like a comedic element like very soon after and it alleviated that for me. Um, but it was a very cute movie and I mean, of course, it was a Pixar movie, so of course it had sad elements, and um, being a newer Pixar movie, it tied into um, more newer releases that are going on, so it made it a little more relevant. But no, I thought it was a super cute movie. It was so funny, um, for the most of it. Uh, if you've seen the movie, um, the scene at the dinner table with the cat, I cackled out loud. It, well, because I have a cat, Chewy, and it just, it was exactly what a cat would do, and it was just so funny, and then they, they thread that through the rest of the movie, and it just, it made it great. Um, so, basically the movie, if you haven't heard of it, because, at least for me, I didn't feel like they did a very good job of advertising it. Um, but that could just be me, I just missed all the advertisements that they did for it. Um, but it's, um, a movie about, um, sea monsters and, um, them wanting to be accepted, they want to change, so they, um, they go up to land to be with the humans and, um, when the sea monsters are on land they transform to look like humans. And, um, basically the whole movie is just about acceptance, and, um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that I heard that the movie, that I read, that the movie had to almost fought to be made by the creative team, um, because they wanted to push it a little bit and try to do more LGBTQ representation in a major film, and, um, this wasn't outright that way. Um, but I can definitely see how those elements would work in, especially in terms of acceptance. Um, so one of the final lines in the movie is like, um, there are some people who will never accept him for who he is, but it looks like he's done a good job of finding those who do. And, um, unfortunately that's just how the world is right now. Um, it's very unfortunate, but... Maybe we'll be able to change things moving forward. We don't need to get into all that with this movie. But, um, yeah, so it was just a very fun, lighthearted movie. Um, the beginning, I it was a little bit slow getting into it. Um, the opening scene, I understood where it was necessary, but I was also a little bit confused um, during later parts of it just because so adamant about being a good kid, never gone to the surface. But I was like, did I miswatch the opening scene? Did I just like not understand what was going on? That was like really the only time that I got lost. Um, the rest of the movie was funny. Um, it was just a really good movie, I recommend it. Uh, as far as animated movies go, as far as newer movies that I've seen go, um, but I would love to just sit down and watch all of the Disney movies, all the Pixar movies, all of that, and just see what's been done. Um, and we're moving through that. One of the next ones that we watch is going to be Raya and the Last Dragon. I know that's an older release, but it's newer and I haven't seen it yet. Um, yeah, another movie that I haven't seen that's been out for forever is Incredibles 2, um, so when I get around to watching that, I will probably make that a movie Monday as well because I've been so excited to see it 
but it's so hard for me to have the time to sit down and like watch something completely devoted to it with nothing else going on because I like to multitask when I do things like that. But uh, yeah, these movie one days I like to give like no spoilers type things so they're just real short. Um, I would definitely recommend this movie if you haven't seen it before, um, even if you don't like animated movies, it's really good. Um, Maya Rudolph was part of the cast and she was hilarious. Um, it was very good. So, yeah. I would, I would probably give the movie an 8 or a 9. It was very good. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. Um, but that's it for this No Spoilers Movie Monday review of what we got. Um, comment down below what other movies you would like me to do in the future, if there are other Disney Pixar movies that are newer that maybe I don't know about, let me know. Um, but, yeah, I would love to check all those out, so leave those down in the comments in the description. There are some links to my Patreon, as well as my Etsy shop, and, um, so I would greatly appreciate if you check those out, and, yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you in another video. Bye!